Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're back with another episode of the Minnesota Millennial Farmer Map by Mappers Paradise. But before we get into uh, playing today, we do have an update from Mappers Paradise uh, in the Mappers Paradise uh, modding group that he runs. And, uh, you know, really the update is from uh, yesterday, August 5th. And uh, the interesting thing is, is he says he's going to release the sheds that are used in the Minnesota Millennial Farmer Pack as placeables to the Giants Mod Hub, which is really awesome because the sheds are something that I really, really enjoyed uh, on this map so far. Uh, they're really well done, uh, fairly uh, universal, easy to use, uh, and, you know, well, obviously they represent, uh, you know, real-looking Midwest American sheds, and so that's really exciting, and then, uh, um, yep, he says that, you know, the PC version of the map is still in testing, and they're working on uh, fixing the issues with the console version, so, um, you know, just continued updates from Mapper's Paradise, really excited to see that things are continuing to move forward, and then if we uh, jump back here into the game. Last time we set up a basic auto drive course and today I think that the goal is going to be to sell a good chunk of the corn that we have left. And so in order to do that I think the best thing to do would be for us to finish creating a auto drive course around uh, the outside of the map and uh, to the sell points. And so we're going to hop in uh, Mahindra here, and we're just going to take a quick run around the outside of the map to create a uh, course there. And then we will see how this goes. Uh, we may uh, either time lapse this out, or we might just cut it out in editing, um, depending on uh how long this video ends up being so we'll see how it goes let's take it slow where you go i go to and if you hit the bottom i'm going down with you let's take it slow who cares where we gotta be you know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me let's take it Take it. 
take it slow Who cares where we gotta be You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me Time stops when I'm falling for you The world stops spinning My head is spinning too Time stops when I'm falling for you All right, we have finished recording our auto drive course. And if we pop up into the map here, you can actually see some of the points that I've set up around uh, the map. So I've got an animal farm point. I created a biogas point. We've got the farm points that we already set up. And then I've actually got points for both the um, shop as well as you can't really see it but the uh, chs uh, sell point and so we're going to be able to use this to sell some of our corn so um, let's go ahead and fill up one load of corn here i'm just gonna hop in here open up our covers start the truck up and just back it up a smidge uh, we're going to load the front first, so we'll put it right there. And I can't remember. Unload dry silo. Get that fired up. 
and start putting some corn into here. And what I'm really curious to see is uh, how this is going to work. I'm not going to be able to set it up to run multiple times, but I'd really love for uh, to be able to fill the semi up, send it on its way, and have it come back to the farm all by itself. So that's what we're going to try here, and we're going to follow that along in a time lapse because it'll take a couple of minutes to get uh, up to the shop and whatnot. And I'm, I'm just really curious. We put a lot of work into getting this all set up. So uh, let's go ahead here. And the one thing I didn't show off in the tutorial is there's different modes for auto drive. And so this up and up arrow here is the mode button. And what I would like to have it do, there's pick up and deliver, but I can't really do that with the way the bins run here. And so I just want to deliver. Um, deliver's not going to have me come back though load what is this change mode start here load unload combine so I want to pick up and deliver so I'm picking up at the farm bins I'm gonna deliver to the CHS and I am delivering uh, corn and so I don't think I'm gonna need to do anything because that's going to run and then I only want to do this once and then I think what I can do is just start this up and it's detecting that I'm full it closed the covers for me automatically and it's going to take us up to the CHS I don't like how my uh, truck is getting kind of wobbly here I had some issues with my truck getting glitched before, and this is looking like he got glitched again. And I don't know if it was the truck or the trailer, to be honest. So I'm kind of hoping he figures it out here in a second, because otherwise we've got problems. Yikes, we've got problems. Alright, so we can't let that go, so we're going to stop this and I'm gonna see if I can get this truck back to the bins to unload it and then I think I need to reset the trailer um, it's important to get back to the bins and unload it because if you reset a trailer uh, you lose everything that's inside of it I believe and it is uh, very much messed up right now I don't think it's the truck. I think it's the trailers. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Let's go. Let's go. Disconnecting did not help me in the past. Um, just, I don't know what happens, but sometimes these, tra these trailers are getting messed up on this map. Um, this is... Uh, it's not the truck because I had the same issue with the in-game lizards that came uh, on the map originally so we're gonna just bring this up here come on you can get back down on the ground uh, maybe not all right so we're gonna load dry silo And we're gonna, can we dump? We cannot. So we're too far up in the air, I'm thinking. Just pull this up here again. All right, stop. Load. Oh, the joys of uh, wonky issues. This thing is just floating around. I don't understand. So the only way I've been able to resolve this issue in the past is to um, reset the trailer. I don't know what's going on or why this happens. Because I believe even if I pull forward now, it's still going to be all glitchy. So if I drop the trailer off, you can see the trailer's all jacked up. It's in the air. Um, if we come onto the map here... 
and grab this trailer and reset it. I think it's going to be fine. So let's back on up here. Let's see what happens. And boom, we're back. Nope, we are not back to normal. So I'm lifting off the ground here when I turn a little bit still. All right, let's try and reset the truck. And the trailer. All right, what is this? Reset, yes. Could not return because it is in use. What? Let me get out of it, maybe. Reset. Yes. All right, let's try this again. Because that was just wonkiness. All I want to do is sell some corn. Why you got to be like this truck? gonna behave yourself now no so I don't know what's happening at this point I've had this issue before and resetting the vehicle slash trailer resolved it but as of right now things have gone sideways so we're going to pull this up here and then uh, reset things and then reload the game, I think. All right, so after quite a bit of hassle, I don't know what I did, but my trailer is working correctly now. So we're going to, once again, try and let AutoDrive take this up to the sell point for us. And since I've already got a full load here, we're going to just hit the power button and he should drive this right up to the CHS sell point for me. It's going to take us a couple minutes to run up there, so we'll time lapse that out in just a second here. If this works, um, I'll probably go back to my Wilson trailers because they're a little bit bigger. Uh, and I just like the look of them a little bit more. But I didn't want to get into changing the trailers out until... I saw if this is even going to work. Oh, the mailbox! That's a problem. Hang on. Stop. Go up here. We'll have to uh, look into solving that here at some point. Okay, so apparently uh, traffic is a problem. Oh, really? You're going to just sit there and honk at me? You're jamming me in here. All right. Uh, can I turn traffic off? Where's traffic? Off. Okay. That was loads of fun. Let's see if I can get him going again. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Maybe if I get up here, he's going to detect the road. There we go. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm curious to see if this turn is wide enough, though. Because this was the one I was kind of worried about when I was recording. And then I'm also just curious to see if this guy is going to oh, empty uh, both bins on his own. Front bin going down. Hopper. And back hopper. Ooh, that's awesome. So at least we can sell both hoppers. 
And I forgot to put that on one. So now I'm hoping he just goes back and stops and waits. And then I can reload him manually and send him back on his way. Did I turn wide enough here to not crash into the fence is the other question. Just barely. I had so much room though, I should have swung wider. Because I'm going to hit this, aren't I? Nope, I'm not. But I really didn't think about uh, driving with a long trailer when I was making my pass. I probably should have just recorded the pass with the semi-truck. And then I would have done all of my driving to be appropriate. But either way, let's zip on back up to the farm here. Nicely executed turn. And so now, the moment of truth. Will we pull in here and stop and be ready for me to reload and fire him off? That is the question. Coming in nicely. We've opened up our top. Just kind of interesting that it knows to open up. And then it's going to shut off and wait to be filled because that got to the actual point. Um, let's see here. I bet you it's going to start loading the truck automatically when I do this. Nope. So what I'll do is stop this, fire this up, this is okay though, I can handle manually loading up the truck and then sending him off. The other thing that we want to do, and maybe we'll do that now, we won't fill the back half out of this hopper, we're going to go around and I'm not going to bother creating an auto drive course right now for this. Um, we're just going to go over here and we're going to see if uh, these other two points work. And so if I park right about there, I think I'm going to be close enough. We can, in theory, fire that up. Oh yeah, we can hear it going. And then I can load corn. Look at that. That's pretty slick. I have to say. It's the little things like this that uh, really make this map a lot of fun. Oh, can I get a screenshot of that? Yeah. It's always like, oh, take a screenshot before the corn stops coming out. It'll look better. Um, so now that we've got that, I'm going to drive right on over here. And then... I should be able to middle mouse button hit go and have him go off and sell this corn. The only struggle being the mailbox and the Mahindra. Oh, the Mahindra. All right, we're going to move the Mahindra real quick. This poor guy. He's. We're just going to put him up in the driveway out of the way and then I'm gonna go really quick and move the auto drive points for uh, the end of the driveway here uh, but I can't without a truck okay Mahindra Mahindra come here I need you to edit my path zoom 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 I really need to go find that uh, Polaris Ranger mod. I think so. a couple of you have um, linked that in the description. I really appreciate all the mod links and stuff that you guys have sent me. 
Um, I haven't had a chance to fully uh, go through all of them yet, but uh, that is one that I know for sure that I would like to uh, switch out here. All right, I am looking at my paths here and I'm seeing this one. Okay, that is all connected to the turning left. That's really awkward. I should have had that come straight out. Okay. Anyway, we're going to pull this over here a little bit. We're going to pull this up. And we're just going to give this a little bit more gradual of a turn. So now that we're going to curve out and around when we come down the driveway here. A um, little bit of a risk of crashing if we had another vehicle coming in at exactly that same time, but hopefully that won't be an issue that we have to worry about. And so I think we're getting to a point where we've got uh, this auto drive thing figured out, so hopefully we won't be messing around with that in future episodes. So let's, oops, I don't need course play. I need auto drive. You gotta get used to hitting the middle mouse button instead of the right mouse button. Middle mouse for auto drive, right mouse for course play. I used to be able to hit delete for course play. I can't seem to get that to work in the latest version. I don't know if I've messed something up or if it's a bug in the current version. So I gotta look at that uh, at some point off camera here. But I think this is gonna work great. And I just wanna make sure it's not gonna hit the mailbox here. And then we can let him go and do his thing. And actually, if I jump out here, I don't need to be in there. Oh, perfect. And since I left traffic off, he's going to be able to go and sell and then get all the way back here. So we're now able to work in the yard and have trucks show up and uh, deliver corn. At this point, I think we really do need to get to back to having a couple of trucks. Uh, so... I'm going to go and try and find uh, one of the other trucks that he has on the farm uh, rather than buy another one of these, which is, I'm, I'm aware, not exactly what he's uh, got on the farm. Um, it was close. Um, it was a custom modding uh, semi, and it was a pretty good mod. It works really well, so that's why I, I try to balance getting exactly what he has with uh, mods that I know are actually going to work. So let's... Uh, Let's jump out and see if we can swing that and we'll check back in here in a minute and try and fill from this other auger. There are trains on this map. Yay, I love trains. It's kind of a short train though. Like in the Midwest, yeah, I mean, I grew up in Minnesota. There's a lot of trains coming through. They were long, like a mile long at times it felt like. So that's the only thing. Um, what was it? Was it Medicine Creek that had the super long train though? Like a, it's a balance, right? It was realistic, but it came by way too often. Uh, and I felt like I was always waiting for the train. Either way, I'm super excited. There's actual working trains on the map. I was kind of curious about that. And now I know. And we're back with a new truck. We decided to pick up the Peterbilt 579. Um, which is actually a truck that I believe uh, the Millennial Farmer has just picked up. So we're going to um, give this second green bin a try here. So I'm just going to double check. I think it's going to be the same keypad 4. Yep. So we're going to get this fired up. And then we're going to fill in corn in this truck. And that is uh, working pretty handy. And then we've got the Kenworth back here as well. And so we're going to just go ahead and get this truck going. Let's not stand on the auger while we do it. And then we've got that loading. So I can also fill corn here. And then we're going to pull this truck up. And see if I can grab this back hopper before the auger turns off. I am uh, still considering uh, extending the animations a little bit longer to give me some more time to fill trucks and stuff. But uh, 
we're going to get this one going. And I also switched back out to the Wilson trailers. Um, having lots of problems with trailers still. Oh, that is so cool. Hang on. The corn comes out the auger and goes into the secondary auger before going up. So that's really nifty. Uh, the little attention to detail like that is always amazing to me. And so we've got this truck now. We're going to set auto drive on to sell at the CHS. And we're going to select corn. And then we're going to have him come back to... Oh, uh, where do I want him to come back when he's done? Just the bins should be fine. We're going to have him only go once. And then I'm just going to pull up here so that we're closer to a course. And say, go to town. And I'm just uh, following along here for a minute to make sure that the trailers aren't going to flip out on me. I think it looks okay. We're not running into anything. Um, this is a longer semi. Uh, than the other one because it does have the sleeper on it and so I'm kind of curious I want to make sure he's gonna get out of the driveway here looks like it has a little bit of an issue with the uh, way the smoke is uh, set up if I look at it from a certain angle it flashes out a little bit all right bud are you gonna make it you got this you got this you got it. See, no worries whatsoever. So in theory, he's going to take that all the way up to the um, store or the CHS, the, um, what do you want to call it? The grain elevator and get that sold. And then this guy, we're going to do the same. Now what I should do is set up two more points on here for reloading, and then I could have them each come in on their own and stop at a given point. But uh, we're a mite lazy right now, so we're just going to handle that on our own. And then in theory, I'm going to give that guy just a little bit of time to get ahead of me. If I start him off though he should follow along now and do his own thing and ideally they're just going to keep going around now I think that the thing I would be concerned about is this guy coming back and rail railroading uh, ramming into the uh, the first truck when he's parked over the farm bins um, so I'll be kind of curious to see how that works just as an experiment um, this guy's almost up at the elevator, so given that this is his first run, maybe we'll just uh, come check out what's going on here. Make sure that we're not going to run into any problems unique to this vehicle. Getting a little bit more confident in auto drive. I am uh, a little saddened that I had to turn off traffic, although we don't come up here that often. And so the only traffic being up here, there's no traffic on any of the other roads. So um, it's, it's really probably not that big of a deal to have traffic turned off. He's making a nice wide turn. He's going to do this, no problem. Yep, this is going to work out really good. I am super excited, too, that uh, these um, two hopper trailers are handled appropriately uh, by AutoDrive, uh, that it's smart enough to figure out to unload the front and then the back hopper uh, as it enters the trigger. Um, that's really awesome. I'd be really curious to see if it's smart enough to fill them on a normal map. Um, and so that might be something that we have to try out at some point. I'm going to hop out of this and just double check on this train. Good deal. And there's the other semi coming here. And it looks like he's going to be empty right about the right time to start pulling out before the other truck gets here. So we definitely waited the right amount of time. There's our cell for the harvest. And so we did um, just put the second semi back in because I'd taken it out of the game uh, earlier. We had started with three 
uh, which I thought was a bit much, but now that we get going and we need to start selling corn and such, having multiple semis is going to be really helpful, so I'm glad I decided to add that back in. I did look to see if I could find some Timpty trailers, but I just, I thought I had some at some point, but I couldn't find any, so we're going to um, just live with the Wilsons for now. They're really nice trailers. And the fact that I can auto unload both hoppers like this now is amazing. So the other thing we want to check on um, is to see that when these guys get back to the farm, uh, I'm curious to see if they're going to crash into each other. So I'm just going to jump back over to the farm and wait for this truck to get back. Looks like the Peterbilt's getting back just fine. I really need to move that uh, waypoint back just a bit. Um, and he has stopped, turned himself off, and is done with the course as expected. So that's really cool. And so now we just need to wait and see the other truck come back, which it looks like he's coming down the driveway right now. Is that right? Yes, he is. So perfect timing there. Let's uh, see how they handle this. I expect a full-on rear collision. But I've been wrong and pleasantly surprised before. Let's see it. How's it gonna be? Here we go. He's speeding up. He's speeding up. Oh my goodness. He's gonna stop and wait. Now he's still in worker mode because somebody's in his spot. But he's gonna stop and wait until I get out of the way and then pull up, I bet. Here, let's do it. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. So we are definitely, yes, he's just gonna pull right on up there and get in his spot. That's awesome. This mod is the best. So we're gonna be able to, and then he shut himself off and the worker is gone. So we're gonna be able to make some modifications to how the bin system works. I think what I wanna do is see if I can make it so that I have to turn them on and off as a toggle. Um, so that the augers are just going to keep running until I go in and turn them back off. It's not maybe, well, I mean, that's realistic. I'm sure I'm just going to forget to turn them off and we'd run our leg empty forever, which would be bad in real life. But I think from a farming simulator gameplay mechanic, being able to turn it on, uh, and maybe that's what I would do. I would turn it on when I see the trucks coming back and just let it run they'll both fill themselves up and pull off and and continue to move on their course and then i can walk over and turn it off while they're driving around because they're just going to sit here and wait until they get filled up if i set multiple courses so i can you know kind of decide that i need to sell three or four loads um, and i can put multiple trucks on the same course so that's going to be pretty epic and then I also need to put two points on the back side for those other bins um, just so that I could simulate pulling out of different bins. I could even have each truck going to a different um, fill spot so they could be filling up at the same time if I needed to. So that is entirely amazing. Um, I'm not sure how much more corn we've got. We do have another 17,000 bushels of corn that needs to be sold. And if I look at the selling point, um, yeah, I mean, that's another 10 loads of corn that we need to sell. Um, so we might, uh, we might see if we can play around with that next episode and get these guys uh, just hauling corn on their own and see if we can make that a repeatable process. I think that'd be fun uh, to just have trucks coming through the yard and getting filled up uh, while we're working on other activities. And so we are uh, getting into the middle of winter here. I expect it's going to start snowing at some point here. Um, let's just look. Do I have snow turned on? I do. So if I look at the weather, it looks like we're a couple days out and we might expect to see some snow. I honestly would have expected more snow uh, in the winter in Minnesota uh, Geo. 
So I'm not really sure how the season's geos are working. We know that snow is supported uh, because um, we've, you know, started the map with snow. So uh, I had one other thing I wanted to check on this map. I believe, yep, the sleep trigger is the back door. Um, I was looking all over for that. Oh, and we've got the pool has a cover. Can I remove the pool cover? No, maybe it just uncovers itself automatically when it's summertime. Because I thought we walked back here and there was actually a pool with water there. So knowing that the sleep trigger is back here is also handy. And I really wish this garage door opened. That's probably my only complaint with the house. Uh, and well, I, I would have expected the sleep trigger to be at the front door as well. But that's uh, minor details. So... Uh, this episode's been a little bit all over the place. Uh, we've been figuring some things out, uh, having some technical difficulties, but I think we're getting to be in a good spot. So uh, appreciate all the feedback and the mod suggestions, and thanks for watching. That's all for today. Kederk, out.